It's me again, Teacher Mel. Your grade 6 math tutor. Today, we are going to solve word problem involving basic operations of integers using appropriate strategies and tools. Let us now talk about the basic steps on how to solve word problem. First step is to understand the problem. What will you do to understand the problem? First is to visualize the problem by knowing the basic information given and the question asked in the problem. Then look for the keyword or the pattern, or even draw a model for better understanding. The second step is to plan what to do to solve the problem. From the given information, the keywords, the pattern, and even drawing a model will help you determine what to do to solve the problem. And then decide what operation is needed to solve the problem. Then, you can now make a number sentence for the problem. The third step is to solve and execute your plan. Use the plan to do your work. And then, explain the method you use. The last step is to check our answer. Why do we need to check the answer? Make sure your answer makes sense. Let us have an example. A diver dove 10 feet into the water from a boat in the surface of the sea. Then, he rose 5 feet and then descended another 15 feet. At this point, what was the depth under the water? Para maintindihan ang problem, alamin natin ang given information. What do you know about the problem? Ano ang ginawa ng diver? First ay nag-dive siya ng 10 feet from the boat to the surface of the sea. The next one ay he rose 5 feet at ang panghuli ay he descended 15 feet. Nakakita ba kayo ng keywords sa problem? Yes, we have. The first keyword was dog, which means suicid or going down. In integers, it means negative 10. The second one was gross, meaning umakyat or going up. Teachers, it means positive 5. And the last one was descended, meaning bumaba or going down again. In integers, it means negative 15. After knowing the given information, kailangan natin malaman kung ano ang hinahanap nating tanong. What do you know about the problem? You are looking for the depth under the water or what was the depth under the water? After understanding, we need to plan what to do to solve the problem. From the given information, the keyword, the pattern, the ups and downs of the diver, will help us to do the plan and then make a number sentence out of it. The operation to be used is addition. The number sentence is negative 10 plus 5 plus negative 15 is equal to n. After planning, we are ready to solve the problem. Let us add the number sentence. If we add negative 10 and negative 5, it will give us negative 5. And if we add negative 5 and negative 15, it will give us the answer of negative 20. So therefore, our answer is negative 20. Let us now check our answer. Using the model number 9, 
from 0, we move 10 points to the left of those 10 feet. And then, move 5 points to the right to rows 5 points. We are now on negative 5. And from there, we move 15 points to the left for descended 15 points. And we stop at negative 20. So therefore, our answer is correct. The answer is negative 20. Let's have another example. At the start of the game, John had 8 marbles. He won 6 marbles. Then, 2 more. But then he lost 5 marbles. And then he lost 3 more. How many marbles were left? To understand the problem, we should know the given information. At the start, John had 8 marbles. And then, he won 6 more marbles. And won again 2 more. But then, he lost 5 marbles. And the last, he lost 3 more. Next, ay kailangan nating malaman kung ano ang hinahanap sa problem. We are asked to find the number of marbles left. The word win and lost is short keyword. Sometimes, short keywords are the actual words found in the problem. In integers, won means positive and lost means negative. Let us now plan what to do. Using the given data and the problem asked for, first we are going to combine all the like signs. For the one game, we have 8, 6, and 2. And then the lost game, we have negative 5 and negative 3. With a given number, we can make a number sentence. How to be? So, our number sentence is 8 plus 6 plus 2 plus negative 5 plus negative 3. After planning, we are ready to solve the problem. Let us add the number sentence. 8 plus 6 plus 2 is equal to 16. A negative 5 plus negative 3 is equals to negative 8. Then, add positive 16 and negative 8, it is equals to 8. So therefore, there are 8 marbles left. To check if the answer is correct, let us use the model number line. Let us move forward to plot positive 8 and positive 6 and positive 2. We are now on positive 16. And then, let us move backward for negative 5. And another 3 for negative 3. We stop at 8. So therefore, our answer is eight. It's time to get your pen and paper for your practice exercise. I will read each question carefully and choose the correct answer. Visualize the problem, plan what to do, then solve it mentally and check to make sure your answer is correct. Are you ready? Question number one. On a certain day, the temperature in the city was negative 2 degrees centigrade. The temperature increased by 4 degrees centigrade, then till 5 degrees centigrade. What was the new temperature? Is it A, negative 3 degrees centigrade? Is it B, negative 11 degrees centigrade? Is it letter C, like 7 degrees centigrade? Or letter D, 11 degrees centigrade?
and what is the correct answer? The correct answer is negative 3 degrees centigrade. Question number 2. How many floors would you need to travel to get from a second floor below the ground up to the third floor above the ground? Is it letter A, 1, letter B, 4, letter C, 5, letter D, 6? And what is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C, 5. Question number 3. Local Manila time is 3 hours behind Sydney time. And Sydney is an hour ahead of Brisbane. If it is 5 a.m. in Brisbane, what time is it in Manila? Is it A, 1 a.m., B, 3 a.m., C, 7 a.m., D, 9 a.m.? And what is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter B, 3 a.m. Good job, kids! Congratulations! You are well done! Now, here are the things that you learned today. Today, you learn how to solve problem solving. That's it for today. Until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on my next video lesson. Thank you so much for watching. This is Teacher Mel saying mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding. Bye!